Ronald Reagan. He was called the great communicator. He understood how to speak. And he changed the world. Moses. He understood the power of words. Because they were the words of God. And on the day of Pentecost, when the Spirit was poured out upon the people, what did they begin to do? Dance, clap, sing, pray? No, they began to speak. Because we're Baptists and Pentecostals here, we leave it there. But they began to speak. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you begin to speak as the Spirit gives them uh, gives you utterance. And the Spirit does give you utterance. So let us reach out to God. Change me, God. Lift me. I don't want to live in the in the mud of unforgiveness. I want to live in the freedom of the Spirit. Amen. Abraham did it. Moses did it. Elijah did it. David did it. Isaiah did it. The apostles did it. Paul did it. People are dying. People have pain. People are weeping. <laughs> and God has given us, God has given you the power of words to make a difference. You are here for a purpose, a great purpose. Forgive freely and minister powerfully through the power that God has given you. Because the world has great need. Romania has great need. Severin has great need. She pays to that. She can't answer this. She looks. She looks. And where are you, George? Kavaran. Amen. Amen. And he is with you. So this is your turn now. Those men are all dead. But you are here. It's your turn. And so. And so let us do something. Use the gift that God has given you. The power of words. And then you shall rise up with wings as eagles. You shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. Who? They that wait upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. Now let us read this together. Singurul Dumnezeu, Mântuitorul nostru, prin Iisus Hristos, Domnul nostru, să fie slavă, măreție, putere și stăpânire, mai înainte de toți vecii și acum și în veci. Amin. Amin. Pace. Amin. Ultimul cuvânt. Pace. Amin. Nu, pace. Pace. Mulțumesc. Mulțumesc. Mulțumesc.